classroom, my wonderful uh, students. Welcome once again to the science class. And today we are going to look at basic goals, electronics. Basic electronics. So today we're focusing on basic goals, electronics. So by the end of this class mm -hmm, or this lesson, you as my students, you should be able to one know what electronics is. You know what an electronic is, and also you should be able to give examples of what electronics or appliance, electronic appliance or devices, and also you should be able to give some example of what electronics was component, electronic component, and also some basic uses of what electronic what gadgets or appliance mm, they are used on uh, guys or appliance and finally the building block of the circuit the main building block of what electronic what circuit so let's start when you talk about electronics it is a broad thing it's a broad thing so it says that electronics what is a branch of what science it's a branch of science that studies how electrons behave. Mm -hmm. They study how electrons behave or moves in what? Appliance. So we say that electronics is a branch of science that studies how electronics will behave or the behavior and movements. The behavior and movements of what? Electrons. The behavior and movements of what? Electrons and maybe. Uh, electronic board, appliance or devices. So basically, when we talk about electronics, is the study of the movements and the behavior, how electrons move and how electrons was behave in what electrical uh, electronic board, appliance, electronic appliance. So let's go to our houses. Let's cast our mind back to our houses or the home. Let's make some examples of. Uh, some appliances that we know or we use in our house, our houses. So let's mention some of the appliances. Okay, very good. So we can talk about the television, we can talk about what the rice cooker, we can talk about the electric kettle, we can talk about the iron or the pressing iron, the microwave, that uh, what we call the radio, and so forth. So we have a lot of what gadgets or Appliance or devices that we use in us in our house. So all these things are electronic ports devices. All these things are called electronic ports devices or electronic appliance or gadgets. Now these electronic appliance or gadgets in our various houses, they have something in them called electrical uh, electronic ports components. They are called electronic components. They carry what electrons or charges. They carry electrons or charges. So this appliance has what a component in them, small small components in them. That's they are called electronic what, components. And this component carries what electronic what, charges from one place towards another on the circuit. So let's proceed by looking at these examples of uh, electronic what, components. Let's look at the examples of electronic components and also how they work. But for us to go to that one, let's look at our previous example that we did mention about the television and the rest. Let's try and mention the eye uses or the function of these was gadgets. So, how do you think that we use our television to do or what the function of the television in the house? Very good. So we use this for us watching what uh, movies or entertaining what ourselves. Okay, let's look at the blender. Mm -hmm. The blender in our various houses. What do you think is the purpose or the uses of the blender? Uh, very good. So we normally use them what in what blending what food items mm -hmm. and sometimes to. You use them for what? Mashki. You always want to do some, some mashki. Then you insert your, you put your cake inside, slice them, then maybe add the sugar and 
other ingredients, then you just blend it. Brrr, then that's all you're getting us your ice cream. Now, let's see, guys. Our iron. Mm -hmm. Our iron to what do you think? The purpose of the iron. Mm -hmm. Okay, good one there. So, this iron was iron was a cloth. So, if you come to school, then your attire or uniform is was crumpled. It's supposed to be iron it. So, all these are called was electrical horse appliance. They are called electrical appliance. Why? Because they contain was small, small horse, tiny horse. Components called electronic was components. So this electronic device has was electronic components in them. So now today we're focusing on these components. So we can ask the resistor. The resistor. We also look at the transistor. We also look at capacitor. Or the data, the capacitor, and maybe we look at our transformer. Transformer and the rest. So we have a lot of these components in that was gadget that we did was mentioned the television, the radio. The rice card, the blender, and the rest. We have this was items was inside or components inside called electronic electronic components. Electronic was components. Now let's look at the resistor. Let's get the resistor and also the function of the resistor. So let's get the resistor here. Now we have some motherboard here. Mm -hmm. We have motherboard which contains some of the electronic uh, components, as I was saying. So let's get the resistor here. Okay. So this one is a resistor. A resistor is here. This one is a resistor. We also have one here, one here. So this, they are called resistors. They are called resistors. Resistors, resistors. So let's look at the function of this resistor. The function of the resistor. So as the name goes, resist means what? To prevent. Mm, not that I resist means what? To prevent. So the function of the resistor is what? Prevent a uh, high amount of what? voltage or current mm -hmm. is to do what? Prevent high amounts of what? voltage or current in that's what electrical hot. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's electronic what? appliance or device. Its purpose is to what? Prevent high amounts of what? electrical hot voltage in that le electronic what? Uh, appliance or what? device. Okay, so let's look at the transistor. Let's look at the transistor. So the transistor to the purpose or the function of it was amplify. It was amplify or current. Amplify. And this one is resisting the uh, current or the electrons, too much electrons or current. This one is what amplifying, it's increasing. So everybody has it was expansion. This one is resisting it. This one is was increasing it. So the transistor that was it amplifies or increases current. Mm -hmm. It amplifies or increases current of electrons in an electronic or appliance or gadget. Now let's come to the capacitor. Let's come to the capacitor to so for the capacitor. We have some examples here. Let me check. Okay. So this one is a capacitor. Capacitor. This one is a capacitor. 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 All these things are capacitors. The capacitors. So this one, that is a ceramic type of capacitor. That is ceramic, made by ceramics. Mm, I'll put that in the house and the rest. Made up of ceramics. So this is a ceramic capacitor. 
this one is there electrotic capacitor mm, it's made up of us electrode there's some chemicals inside electrode but this one is made up of us ceramics so this one too is what example of us capacitor how the name goes capacitor that's our having us ability or capacity so one thing about capacitor is ability or is the electronic cause what do you call it component that stores what electrons mm, or let's look at how charges it stores them temporarily it stores them more temporarily so this thing i show you here the, the electrolyte or the ceramic or capacitor it stores what electrical hot energy temporarily it stores them more temporarily and let's look at the last one too that's the transformer transformer as you can see here it's very heavy and also big in size so as you can see yeah this called a transformer very heavy so transformer to the main purpose mm, or the function of this uh, electronic part component is to do what transform other it goes transform so transform electronics or charges or electrical charges from one place towards another so it transforms electronic force charges from one circuit towards another house circuit I said earlier that at the end of this class you should know the main building block of us electronic force circuit so these are the main building block of electronic circuit so these are the main building block. The main building block of what? Electronic port. Circuit. That's the resistor, the capacitor, and what? The transistor. Or the ta ta ta. They are the main one. But I have different different what? Examples of what? This electronic port component. You have transformer. You have the geode. And so and so on. You have the, what do you call it? The inductor and the rest. There are much examples there, but these are the main one. So, bringing our class to an end, as I said or I told you earlier on, that at the end of this class, you should be able to know what was electronic states, you should be able to know some examples of what electronic device or gadgets and their corresponding was uses, and also you should be able to know some electronic what components and their uses as well. And basically, we emphasize on knowing the main building block of us, electronic port components. So we can say that electronic components, or as we have learned, that electronic, electronic, electronics was a branch of science that studies the movements, the movements and the behavior of us, electrons in what electronic ports, gadgets, mm, they are us, a branch of science that studies us, the movements and the behavior of us, electrons in us. Electronic, uh, electronic source gadgets and um, examples of these gadgets are host, the rice cooker, the blender, the iron, and the rest. And we go to know that all these was electronic was gadgets has was some small small or uh, petty was things in them that have those words to work. And these are called the electronic was components. Mm, electronic components. And you both know that these are some of the electronic components and also their uses. You both know their uses as well. And you both know that this one, the resistor, capacitor, and horse, transistor, they are the main building block of what? Uh, electronic horse circuits. So that's where we bring our lesson to. My name is Ban Yao, the minister, lecture group one, sub group three. Thank you all.